From Studio 3C in Rockefeller Center, this is Today in New York. Welcome back on a Sunday morning. It's time for this week's edition of The Good Fight with me, Pat Battle. Well, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a disease that affects one in 500 people, but it usually only makes headlines when a young athlete collapses and dies without warning, and a postmortem shows that that is indeed what was affecting him or her. Well, in today's edition of The Good Fight, we're going to introduce you to a woman who spent 18 years pushing for awareness and for treatment and saving countless lives in the process. That Allie Steinhauser can keep up with her two-year-old twin boys is remarkable. That she has them at all is a miracle. Until a heart transplant some 10 years ago, Allie suffered from a genetic condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It nearly killed her. My particular diagnosis, as I mentioned, was um, and very, very lethal. And so to pass it on was just not an option. Ezra and Micah were born on the cusp of science. Their mom's embryos sent for testing at eight cells. The embryos that were did not have HCM were then implanted into a surrogate because um, due to transplant I was unable to carry. And so we have two amazing little men who uh, do not have HCM. Ali attributes her miracles in large part to Lisa Salberg, founder of the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Association, or HCMA. And he had a cardiac arrest at the age of 43 in 1953 on the eve of my father's high school graduation. Lisa lost her grandfather, her dad, aunt and uncle to the disease, but when her sister died at 36, she went on a mission. And I thought, oh, no way, not again. It's not supposed to happen this way. We're supposed to survive longer than the generation before us. And that sent me into massive research mode. She was pregnant with her own daughter when Lori died, and she raised her sister's two children as well. All three of them have the genetic condition. I wasn't going to let them have the same ambiguity and, and uncertainty about their future as I was growing up with. I was going to make sure things were better for them. She quit her job and literally followed her heart, becoming one of the leading voices in the field, speaking at countless seminars, connecting doctors, patients, and researchers. They take great care of patients. I'm kind of the connector. Somebody calls me and says, I have HCM and my symptoms are thus and such. So have you tried talking to this doctor or do you know about this center? And I play connector. To bring awareness to a disease that generally only makes headlines when a young athlete succumbs to it. 20% of those who die under 20 with HCM are athletes. 80% are not. Lisa has spearheaded the development of HCM centers all over the country, more than a dozen of them, including the Shannon T. Mass Center here at Morristown Medical Center. It just opened its doors in February, and they're already booked through July. And this is the area where the abnormal increase in wall thickness occurs here. Dr. Marty Marin is director of the center at Morristown. You have symptoms like we described, shortness of breath, chest pain, uh, exer exertional fatigue or palpitations, feeling irregular heartbeats. He credits Lisa's advocacy for saving thousands of lives despite the fact she's on her fourth defibrillator, her daughter on her third. They're tireless. As like a group effort, like I talk to the younger kids and everything, and it's just really, really rewarding. There's 600,000 people out there who need our message and to need the guidance of getting to really high quality HCM care. And I'm going to do that. Just an amazing woman she is. Yeah. I mean, absolutely tireless, quitting her job to, you know, to pursue this passion to, to save people's lives. And really, Gus, what, what's so amazing, one in 500 people, think about how many Facebook friends you have, how mm -hmm. many people you see on a daily basis, and one in 500 of them have that, that, that disease, that heart disease. And to have sort of that medical concierge, which is a, a burgeoning field, to kind of guide you through all that. Because, I mean, you, you just try to line up a, a, an everyday doctor. It can be very overwhelming with insurance and everything. They have that sort of guide and also that emotional support. Yeah. Both of those things coupled together is remarkable. Yeah, it's an amazing nonprofit organization. It, re it really is. I mean, she's in touch with everyone from coroners to, to researchers to doctors and nurses and, of course, the patients. So she's doing great work. And one surprising thing she told me, out of all of the young people that, that, that die of this disease, 50% are African-American mm. boys. And they don't know why, but with her help, they're pushing to find out. Right. So she's a good, good person, Lisa Salberg. And if you or someone you know is fighting the good fight, tell me about it. And just send an email to tips at NBCNewYork.com or you can tweet me at PatBattle4NY. Great story, Pat. Thanks. Up next, 730, we're